I feel like the social media bill is one that is very dangerous, unlawful, and unconstitutional. I think that we are approaching a very precarious, dangerous time in our history if this bill is allowed to pass because we basically have to have a government that is not opposed to freedom of speech. We have to have a government that is comfortable with not only policing themselves but allowing the citizens to police them. And if we pass the social media bill, that's basically one clamping down on freedom of speech. So anybody who has anything critical or dissenting to say about um, the government in power, about our lawmakers would automatically be shut down. A case in point would be when Senator Elisha, who we all saw on video, um, physically assaulting a woman in a store. Now, it's interesting that he is one of the supporters of the bill, which is, is not ironic at all. Um, it's, it's sad that people like that are now trying to take away our rights to call them out when they step out of line, when they do things that are against um, the well-being of the Nigerian people, when they do things against women, against children, against young people. I think that it is unfair. I think that it is unlawful. I think that it is unconstitutional. And I think that we as a generation can't allow for things like this to pass. We're not saying that people should abuse freedom of speech, but I think that when a government starts to become so worried about clamping down on dissenting voices, then, then, then we're entering a dangerous place in our history. And so I think that I would like to join my voice with everybody else, um, all the young people in the country, to say no to the social media bill. We have to be allowed to speak our minds. We have to be allowed to call out bad governance. We have to be allowed to use the platforms that are available to us to push for good governance. Um, this is a, a serious infringement on the rights of young Nigerians. It's a serious infringement on the rights of Nigerians everywhere to take away our ability to speak. And this is not just for activists. This is for musicians, actors, uh, uh, regular citizens, journalists. I mean, we, we have example after example of journalists who have been locked up for just daring to call out people that are in power. Now, what kind of country will we be when we legalize that in the laws of our country where we basically are all not allowed to say anything? I mean, I think that is dangerously taking us back to a very dark place that we all remember um, for those of us that were alive at that time. So I think it is very, very important that we, we push back against this law and say no to the social media bill. I think also um, young people and, and really Nigerians at large have a responsibility now more than ever to take on your senators and your House of Reps members and the lawmakers in this country and call them out one by one in posts, in letters, in phone calls until they understand that you are there to represent the best interests of the generation. You are there to represent the interests of the people. Now, if you are passing a law that basically, uh, you know, clamps down on the people that you are, the very people that you are supposed to represent and protect, you are now trying to shut up. Um, so I think that it is, again, unfair, unconstitutional, unconstitutional, illegal, and should not be allowed to pass. And hopefully we can raise a standard against that and push back because, you know, the freedom of speech is one that we can't give up.